leaf cutter ants. Yeah, those monkeys. It was a troop of monkeys on the hillside. We saw the one with its tail behind that, that bit of palm frond, but there was other ones around too. They hadn't realized we were there until I stepped on a piece of gra a piece of dry vegetation and it crackled, and then they all realized we were there and took off up the hill. Quite a production. There's a noise in there, we don't know what it is. It's a very fast, kind of very fast snapping sound, like a croak. Of course we can't see anything. Up above that military type installation, here up on the wall, is a fence, barbed wire fence. So we can't get much closer to the howler monkeys from this direction. Oh, I don't think they're very far away. You can hear them back there moving.
I can keep I'm calling them and I'm having some responses. <laughs> They're out there no more than about 30, 40 feet. They like my, when I do my little short ones. I can't see any of them, but they're right there. Oh, I could hear them. I, I, I turned my, my video on just so I could get the sound. Yeah, they're, they're no more than about 30, 40 feet away. That's all. It's 40 at the very maximum. I would say more like 30, 20, 20 to 30. They're just out there, but they're hidden completely. Yeah, they're hiding now. Wow. That was absolutely that was great. <laughs> thrilling. I guess that must mean the ones up in the tree there were howler monkeys. No, I think they might have been squirrel monkeys. They were small. Yeah, they were pretty small. <laughs> And they're not falling for it anymore. You make a great monkey call. <laughs> I noticed that they seem to be making more little, little humps and trips back at me when I made them short like that. So I started making them more short, and that's when they burst into that yeah. howling. <laughs> That was thrilling. 